Morgan on Twitter and today I'm going to illustrate something with a razor and where did it go an iPad okay and the thing I'm going to illustrate is innovation the concept of what is innovation so the NIH the National Institutes of Health they uh, they have asked in the new grant proposal format that we have to include innovation in our proposals now there's actually a section titled innovation and in that section, uh, a lot of people have asked me, how, what do I do? How do I fill in that um, and sound innovative enough? You know, if I, especially if I'm taking old techniques and putting them together um, and just using old stuff rather than developing new stuff. And I think there's this misimpression that innovation is about just developing new technologies. I actually think that the iPad is a great illustration of this concept. Um, so this iPad doesn't have really any new technologies in it per se. Um, it's using an existing operating system. It's using, you know, I guess the, the chips, the chipset inside is, is a new hybrid, but it, it doesn't implement things that haven't been done before. It's just a, a hybrid chip that combines uh, various features such as power management and, um, and you know, graphics acceleration and things like that all into one chip in a unique way and in a compact form. But again, the point is that this iPad doesn't have, you know, brand new technologies as much as combining existing technologies in new way. And the important thing is, you know, so they have sold like two million of these things already and it's only been out for two months, which is incredible. So what that tells me is that this solves a problem that wasn't already being solved by portable computers. And I know for me, it solves the problem of having all of my reading, my papers and books in one place that I can reference whenever I want, that I can read when I'm lying in bed or when I'm walking around. I like to stand uh, a lot rather than sitting down um, because it's better for the back and, and whatnot. So, I can walk around and read on this thing, whereas with a laptop, there's no way I'm going to be walking around with my laptop uh, with PDF files reading from the laptop. It's just not going to happen. And, you know, it's, and the problem with papers is that papers and books are heavy and big and bulky. And, you know, this is pretty compact compared to a bunch of books and papers. So this solved a problem in a new way. So basically, you know, I, I there are few people, I think, that would argue that this iPad is not innovative, even though it's not new technology. And, you know, the same thing goes, that's why I have a razor. So this is one of these disposable razors. Um, and these were invented around 1875. <clears throat> and the thing about these is, again, it wasn't a new technology. The idea of a disposable safety razor wasn't totally new technology. They took existing blade technology and existing manufacturing technologies and combined them together in a new way to solve the problem. The problem was that the old-fashioned razors tended to cause a lot of nicks and you know you had to really have a steady hand to use them if you didn't want to slice into the flesh. Um, and that's kind of a problem. And so there needed to be a new way of solving that problem. Um, and this presented that new way of solving that problem by combining existing technologies um, together in a new sort of form, a new sort of package, and applying them in a different way. So that ultimately is my answer to the question of how you can be innovative on your NIH proposal, is you basically, you don't have to go out and develop some brand new method, some brand new technique in order to be seen as innovative. But what you do have to do is Find a problem, or whatever problem you're working on in your proposal, whatever scientific or research problem or whatever, or health problem, and find new ways, new combinations of technologies to solve that. So I think somebody specifically asked me, well, you know, I'm just using standard Western blots and blah, 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 is that innovative? Well, if, if, you know, if you're just doing the same old thing to solve the problem that everybody else has done in the past, then no, that's not innovative. 
But if you're doing something new, using Western blots in a new way to solve this problem that remains unsolved, then I would say that's innovative. Now, ultimately it comes down to convincing the reviewers. And so your ability to persuade and, and, and convince and, and more importantly, get people excited about your work, I actually think is the most important point. And I've written and done a lot of other stuff about that. But in terms of innovation, I don't think it's that hard. Simply solve a problem, find new ways of solving an existing problem by combining using existing technologies, developing new technologies, whatever. So that's it for today. That's I'm Morgan from MorganOnScience.com, MetaMorgan on Twitter, and I really want to hear from you uh, in the comments on the blog. That's uh, so just go down below on the blog site at MorganOnScience.com and let me know what you think. What